Okay, in this section, what we're going to talk about is uh, a couple different assemblies that will that can be used when you're using multiple surfaces. So if you have a rock surface, uh, you know different soil types, different surfaces, and you want it to daylight through those surfaces. And you can see here in the image is you know it's coming up to the first surface here uh, at a certain percent slope. Maybe has a bench and then goes another uh, percent slope with another bench and then daylights into that last surface. So there's a couple sub-assemblies that you can use um, to do this. And one is the uh, daylight rock cut, and the other one is daylight multiple surfaces. Now both of them will allow you to put in uh, materials like riprap or you know, other, other types of materials along those, those daylighting features. But real simply, let's, let's take a look at um, the, the parameters and how they're applied. So we'll look at the daylight multiple surfaces uh, sub-assembly first. And you can see from this image is that you have multiple surfaces and the assembly will come up to the first surface. You can control the slope. Uh, you can then control the bench, uh, the bench slope, the bench uh, width, and then it'll go up to the second surface and same thing, bench the slope and width, and then it'll daylight out to the, the first surface. So if you look at the surface numbering it's surface one is your finished ground, or I'm sorry, existing ground. Surface two would be your first level of material. Uh, surface three being your third level of material, technically, or, or possibly your bedrock or, or rock. Okay. The other uh, rock cut one is a little bit different. You can see here is that you're putting in a, a ditch and then again controlling the, the cut slope and the depth limit and then you can have it change to a different slope as it's cutting through that rock. But in either case, you're working with multiple surfaces. So we're not gonna talk about how to create multiple surfaces in this example, as far as there's many ways of doing it using different, um, different methodology. But as you can see here in my section view, I have my, my existing ground surface. I have possibly where my topsoil has been stripped off and then I'm getting into the, the actual bedrock. So you can see um, as I, let me move out of the way here for a second. If I look at the, this here, this is you know maybe the, the clay surface. And then down here, I'm looking at the, the bedrock surface, okay? So in the sub-assembly that I have, let's take a look at the sub-assembly and how it's built is you can see here that um, I've got the daylight feature here. And if we look at the subassembly properties under the parameters, you can see that I have you know, the side, the variables, I've got my fill slope. Um, you can see I can put in material thicknesses and I can also use slope limits so that you know, based on the slope will depend on what material is being applied uh, you know, in that slope and, and uh, along that area. But then you'll see I've got surface two which is, you know, what is the bench slope? So that's the bench slope. Um, I've got a 1% bench slope there. I've got a bench width. In this case, I'm using a one meter bench width um, for that second surface. So along that second surface, I'm gonna have a one meter bench. Uh, the cut slope for surface one, in this case is four to one. So it's gonna go at a four to one slope in daylight from surface two to surface one at a four to one slope. The bench slope for surface three and the bench width for surface three, and then the cut slope uh, for surface two. So within, between surfaces three and two, I'm using a two to one slope. And then for my surface three, basically going from my, my tie-in to my assembly to surface three, I'm using a one to one slope. And then you'll see that you've got materials down here as well. So once you apply those settings, the next thing that you're gonna need to do is make sure that you map your corridor accordingly. So if I take a look just real quick at the profile, you can see I've got multiple surfaces, multiple datums. Um, for this example, you know, we just drop down. Typically, this would come from boring hole information. We'll have another uh, section, another video in our V-book on how to create uh, datum surfaces. So it would be covered in our surfaces uh, V-book there. But let's take a look at the corridor model. And looking at the corridor model here and going to the corridor properties, you want to make sure that under the parameters that you're targeting to those particular surfaces. So you can see here, 
is that on my daylight surface, I have it daylighting to the existing ground. My surface one is also the existing ground. It needs the daylight uh, for the fill situation, okay? The surface one is daylighting for the cut situation. It's gonna go to the existing ground. Surface two is the clay surface. Surface three is the bedrock. So you can see here is that we're targeting in our subassembly to each um, uh, to each individual surface. And we'll have to do that for both sides of our corridor model. So once that's done, and you know you go ahead and apply and build the corridor model, it will then daylight and create the benches like I showed you in that first section. All right. So let's go ahead and dismiss our panorama here when it pops up. So just take a second, close that. And we'll go ahead and go back to our assembly here. We'll just look at this one section here that we have. And you can see this one here is, it's not in rock, but it's only in the clay. So it's only gonna go up to that second surface across and then up in daylight. Over on this one, we are in the rock area. So it's gonna go up with the rock cut at a one-to-one, -one, cut over for the bench and then through the clay. All right, so that's how you go ahead and apply um, you know, you got to control the subassembly. Now, using other subassembly, again, look at the parameters and look at your regions and, and apply these particular assemblies within that uh, in that region.